are my night off, but I guess no one really knows that. I could go. It's not like I can't, but I also don't want to. See, when you're making up an excuse to not hang out with your friends, it has to be good. No, believable. See, a good excuse is saying that you have homework, but a believable excuse is saying that you have a presentation on Monday worth half your grade. So you have no choice but to study tonight. Fifteen minutes until closing and this guy, oblivious to good music, walks in. I mean, look at him. He's been eyeing this place all week, but just now he's got the courage to walk in. He doesn't even know what he's looking for. I bet he's trying to find some record that's common. Men take 20 minutes to walk around the store, try to find the record on their own, thinking they can do it. Then I have to step in and ask them if I can help them find anything so they can leave. Can I help you find something, sir? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for this, this one song. Uh, do you know the name of the song? No. How about the artist? No. Do you know what it sounds like? Yes, it's something like, now here I go again, you say you're freezing. Um, okay, yeah, it's uh, Dreams by Fluid Mac, 1977 Rumors, but it's only freedom instead of freezing. You sure? Pretty sure. Okay, you show me? Yeah, uh, we've got it right over here. Would I have 1977 Rumors by Fluid Mac? I've got 15 more in the back. Here you go. Thank you. Can I listen to the song, make sure it's the one? Yeah, sure. Thank you. to listen to Rumors by Fleetwood Mac 1977 is because you like their music. The believable answer is that it's one of the most popular selling albums of all time. See, a good excuse and a believable one takes time and patience, which I have and they don't. Hannah always says it's going to be fun. And every time I convince myself to go, it always ends up yeah, it's a record shop down an alley, so it's kind of hidden, but I mean, if you want to stop by sometime, I'm sure I can get you a discount or whatever. Wait, who are you? Fun. I'll take that. What you're looking for? That's the one. All right, 20 even, please. Ah, look at that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, it's all yours. Have a good day. All right, see ya. Come back when you need a, another song. Okay, thanks. I need a drink.
My top five most memorable heartbreaks in chronological order are as follows. Aaron Scott, Darren Folds, Greg Larson, Henry Collins, and number five, with a bullet, Jake Amos. And it was just a fantasy. We'd been going out for two weeks, seventh grade, he asked me to meet him at the park and he gave me ice cream and a note that said, and then there he went, over on the bench to put his arm around Jessica Evans, my all-time best friend. Cause baby, it's you. I'm over it. I've been over it. It's been four years, so I should be over it. But to make it even better, they're still together. Well, that's until last Tuesday. <laughs> you broke up up there. She still hasn't quite grasped the idea yet, but it's official. <sighs> anyway, I know I should be sad that my best friend just got dumped, but this means Jake Amos is single for the first time in four years. <laughs> and he's gonna be a prize tonight. I've waited so long for this moment because maybe this is my chance to get back with Jake. He's the one true heartbreak I haven't gotten over, but it's not like I can tell anybody that because I'm not an emotional person, publicly. I don't know, maybe I will go tonight, it could be fun. But also, I don't know. It is my unofficial night off. I guess I can make an exception. Text message from Jessica. I heard Jake is bringing some Jamie girl. Would you like to reply? What Jamie girl? 